Flyleaf is in the studio with me. I have Pat and Samir and Lacey and James and Jared. Thank you for coming by, everybody. I see you traveling in the luxury cruising vessel. Aren't you? <laughs> that's good. That's good. When I listen to this CD, I find a lot of uh, really interesting things. You've got a great blend of Lacey's vocals and all this instrumentation that's going on. Some really, there's some complex instrumentation, there's some straight up just rock, but there's some really complex things and one of the things that I noticed most about it was the interplay between, there would be a, a drum snap and then a vocal snap and then there'd be a bass and then there'd be a guitar riff and it was really all well woven together. <laughs> Three and a half years, so it'll be four, mm -hmm. like four pretty soon. So you have been together long enough to to know each other's nuances of the music and everything. Yeah, I mean, Jared and I, um, we learned to play guitar together. Um, me, Pat, and James, we're in the we were in marching band. See, there's <laughs> some formal training. <laughs> I'm looking at the last page, and I'm looking at this thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that could quite possibly be the longest thank you in the smallest font that I've ever seen. We had to cut this stuff out. I, I find that hard to believe. <laughs> I think you got everybody in there. No, we missed a couple of people. I remember. <laughs> first ones they did the rough mix of and I, I just cried because I could not believe that was us and that it was yeah. so awesome and it really felt like us for the first time on a recording which because you know I think it's hard to capture what we do live in a studio you know and so I think for the first time it was actually realized or whatever and that was so what was what's so great about working with Howard is that he really caught, got our message and he that was important to him and you know, I think he got us better than anybody we've worked with. The, the team that he had, he had working there, they were just amazing. Amazing people, amazing at what they do. And it was just cool to, to watch that happen, to watch to watch the way they worked. Was the learning curve pretty good? You pick up some stuff? Yeah, I picked up a lot of stuff. I mean, yeah. picked up a lot of stuff about, you know, you know, playing techniques and, you know, just like how to get certain tones and stuff. It was just, it was really cool. Yeah, and I got to do a vocal lesson for the first time. And I learned how to breathe while I write, which I didn't realize there was a difference. Mm -hmm. But and like it helps you to, to sustain notes and hit notes easier without training. It's the first time you've been out on the road, or have you been doing that for a while? We've been on and off the road for mm -hmm. about a uh, year and a half. You're pretty much getting everywhere, or is this um everywhere in the U.S. Mm -hmm. We went to London <coughs> one time, but um, cool. it's pretty much U.S. crisscrossing. Yeah, London. Cool. <laughs> yeah. It was cool. <laughs> Thank you again for taking the time to come in, Flyleaf. I appreciate it very much.